Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about solid state. In our surrounding we can come across different type of objects which are solids. What are the properties of solids which we need to discuss here? So let us discuss these properties by doing an activity that is activity 1.9. Collect the following articles, a pen, a book, a needle and a piece of wooden stick. Sketch the shape of the above articles in your notebook by moving a pencil around them. So whatever the requirements we have here, that is uh, the requirements we need a pen, a book, needle, a piece of wooden stick. So in order to sketch the shape of the above these articles in your notebook, here pencil is required and even hammer is required because here the next point says uh, here that is uh, what happens if they are hammered, pulled or dropped. So we need a hammer also for this. Now first we will be taking a pen. Now sketch the shape of the pen in your notebook. So let us sketch it. All of you make the use of pencil to sketch the shape of pen. So I am making the use of a color pen and I will make a sketch of this. So here I could able to make the sketch of the pen by using a color pen here. So you will be using a pencil to make a shape of this one. So what we get here? Now you can see that is actually giving the shape. We could able to make the shape of the pen. Similarly, we can do with the, a book. We could able to make the, we could able to sketch the shape of the, this article. And even we can try with a needle. So there also we could able to sketch it. So here, when we take the stick also, it is possible to make the sketch of these articles. So we could able to sketch the shape of these articles. That is, we have tried with the pen, book, needle and even with a stick. So the sketch of the shape of these articles could be able to made. So what we can conclude that all these have definite shapes that's why we could able to make the shape of it and they have distinct boundaries that you can see where there is a distinct boundaries and they have a fixed volume so these are the conclusions we can make from this activity that is by sketching the shape of the following articles that is we could able to conclude that we could able to make the or we could able to sketch the shape of these articles. That means they have definite shape, def they have distinct boundaries and they have fixed volume. Now next term we will be saying that what happens when these objects are hammered. So when we hammer a needle definitely what happen you can find that there will be slight changes in the shape. That means it get flattened and similarly with the book you can see any changes are there or not but when you hammer the pen definitely what happen it will be broken down into the pieces that means what we can see here that is when the solids are hammered maybe it break under the force but it is difficult to change their shape because when we are hammering the pen definitely it will broken into the pieces but when we all make all these pieces together and in the right place again you could able to make the shape of the pen so that means we can able to change the shape by only applying certain forces and it is difficult to change their shapes because it can maintain their shape. It means that solids have a tendency to maintain their shape and when it is subjected to the outside force. So we are saying that the solids have a definite shape but 
on applying the force or the pressure even we can change the shape of the solid things and but could be able to again regain its shape so that is what we can conclude from this that solids are rigid now next try to compress it by applying the forces now we can take book now all of you keep your hand on the book and try to apply force on it that means we will be trying to compress it so what do you find that your observation is that it is not able to compress even we are applying a force also that what we can conclude that solids are incompressible in nature so here we have come up with the points related to the solids that is uh, solids have definite shape distinct boundary definite volume and the solids uh, are rigid and the solids are incompressible but a uh, certain questions comes in our mind uh, when we deal with uh, some other objects uh, that is also solids uh, like uh, the question what about the rubber band can it its can it change its shape on stretching is it a solid because uh, the i told you already uh, we have come up with a conclusion related to the properties of solid that is solids have definite shape but uh, when we deal with certain things uh, definitely we will be having a question that the rubber band rubber band is a solid but uh, still we could able to change its shape by stretching so definitely the question will come is it a solid that is actually a rubber band changes the shape at it can regain the same shape when the force is removed that means we could able to change the shape of it that is only by applying the force but when we remove the force it will regains the same shape and even it Uh, get break up when we apply a greater uh, force that means if the force is excessive applied then it may break up so that means uh, if we can say that uh, this it is a solid but it can be stretched that is because of the elastic nature of the rubber band and we can able to change the shape of the rubber band that is by applying the force and when the force is removed it will regain its same shape so it is a solid but on the basis of the force applied we can change the shape that is not for all the objects all the solid the solids which have elastic nature like rubber band the next question arises here what about the sugar and the salt because we already told that solids have definite shape but uh, when we keep uh, sugar or the salt in different jars uh, these take the shape of the jar so are they solid that is actually the shape of each individual sugar or the salt crystal remains fixed so when we uh, take a small piece a small crystal of um, salt or the sugar that shape is actually not changing so being a smaller in size uh, it will easily get into the uh, spaces so that why it is taking the shape of the jar it doesn't mean that uh, that uh, it does not have a definite shape these have a definite shape that is the small crystals have a definite shape because being smaller in size it will easily get fit into the spaces of the jar properly and that's why we can say that it take the shape of the jar so the shape of each individual sugar or the salt crystals remain fixed whether we take it in our hand or put it in a plane or in a jar so that uh, question we can solve in this way the next question is that uh, what about a sponge it is a solid yet we are able to compress it why so is it is a solid so that is actually the uh, sponges sponges when you look at its surface you can find a, a large number of uh, tiny holes which is found on its surface 
and is fully actually there are certain holes in it so a sponge has minute holes in which the air is trapped when we press it the air which is there in these holes it expels out and we are able to compress it so as we have discussed that solids are incompressible but even though we could able to compress the sponge because of the reason that it is being a solid but it have certain holes in this and the air get trapped so when we compress it we actually the airs which is in the between these holes is actually expelled out so that's why we could able to compress it now we can list out all the characteristic features of solids which we have concluded from this activity that is activity 1.9 that is solids have a definite shape they have definite volume solids are not compressible solids are rigid and they it have a tendency to maintain the shape so these are the important characteristic features which we have concluded by doing this activity so the further details will be discussed in the next video this is all about this video have a nice day